Welcome back team. You're gaming with the Colonel and this is Strategic Command WW2 World at War. It's my continuing multiplayer game against uh, it's Tanaka and he's getting ready to scream in the Paris here. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Boy, 0-5 every time. That's uh, That seems suboptimal. That seems suboptimal. Hurt him at least. Hurt him again. Nope. He's coming hard. He's going to take probably Paris and the historical timeline here is what it looks like. Should I let him destroy the PEF is the question. It's a lot of money. the question. Alright. Yeah, this is going to be ugly. He's going to kill that guy, too. Oh, God. So that's bad. I don't have any units here. How do I not have any units there? I thought that army would last longer. That's what it is. Deal with them. I'm smoking these guys. I'm gonna have to abandon it. I'm gonna have to abandon an ink. French guys, I don't care. He's just doing that to get experience. Out there. It's not a bad plan. Marshmallow Falls, Blitz Creek towards Paris. Yep. Some fighters. Some heavy tanks. And some garrisons. And some anti air. Yeah, well, we know where the anti air is going to go. And we know where some of the garrisons are going to go. One of them. Goes here. Well, let's see, where are we with diplomacy? 95. Yeah, they're coming in next turn. So, you're going there. <sighs> first things first. 1 1, 1 1, 1 3, 3 2. Hurt that guy. That guy's gonna have to get fixed. Do I try to defend Paris longer? It's May.
do I leave you here? Can just repair you, and then you can die. You can make it to here. You can make it to there. worked out okay. You can stay one more round. this guy down to six really hurt myself though but I'm still in trench double and behind the river it's the only chance I'm gonna to get to hurt him so I think I must and if the BEF gets smoked so be it that's his main armor link right there I lost three that's a bummer okay Burn you down. One, three. That's unbelievable. Does he have double already? That didn't help any. Um, yeah, that wasn't worth it. No. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but that's okay. You are going to escape north in the long run. I don't think you'll take it next turn. It'll be one more turn before you get it. So you'll be next to Paris with two. You'll be next to Paris probably here and here. Let me fix that guy. That guy needs fixing. Could pull you off the line. This is properties. If I pulled you off the line, could you still? Major river, plus one movement cost. Okay, so that's one. <laughs> Hill, plus one movement cost is two. Three, four to get across, right? I don't know that I want to give that up so easily. Of course, if he jumps into Nancy, he can surround the whole thing. So either come completely off the line, which I might do, because these guys aren't going to do anything. They're not upgraded anyway. It's these guys I have to worry about. So either come completely off the line.
got a hair on my keyboard here. On the S key, obviously. Come completely off the line, because if he comes in here and jumps in here, then I'm in trouble anyway. So, you can get back there, you can get back there. You can get the Dijon. I think I'm going to come off the line. Because I need to plug the holes. I'll hold on to Mets. So I'll give this up. It's just Belfort, really. All right, so that's done. And I'll save the 74 for now. Soviets are still waiting for anything, even if they're wrong. How come they only have 40 money? Let's see. Diplomacy. I know he was going after Finland. Finland's still 15%. Okay. Forward. You're doing your thing. You're doing your thing. You can come up here. You're going to sit in Kiev. I need more units. Why, are, why do I only have 40 money? That doesn't make any sense. Does that make sense, guys? Reports, graphs, MPPs. Did I buy something I shouldn't have bought? It's May. Forty. I've only got forty MPPs. That doesn't make any sense. It must have been something I did last turn. Let me hit L for a second. Soviet thing going on here. I don't understand why I only have 40 money. Hey, you're doing your thing. Over here, you're coming down. We know they're going to be preparing for war next turn. So the real question is going to be, where does that guy come out at, right? You're not at war yet, but you will be next turn. Okay, Tanaka. <laughs>
All right, so that's France. We still have not located Still have not located. The German fleet. So you got air now. The range is about six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm outside that range, probably. Okay, you haven't gone and taken Oslo. You haven't gone and taken this. You haven't taken, or you did take Amsterdam. You took these three. Right, the submarine can go take some more back up to supply. Let's see here. Research-wise for the Brits, we're getting ready to pop infantry weapons. It's going to be a turn too late, which is unfortunate. Uh, we will need ground attack. India gets Mountbatten, that's outstanding. China's where I've got a problem. <laughs> this is a serious problem. I can't get in there. I don't want to force March into that. Can't even get him in there. Guess I am gonna have to force march into that. Oh, that's gonna be ugly. Please don't lose that. 26, that's a lot. But at least you can only get one guy in there. <laughs> you will go north. You go up there, deploy the new unit into that spot. What new units do we have coming up in June? Uh, yeah, we got a couple. Got to redo the army. Leaving me with 80. can't give you that hex. How come I can't get out of there? You'll artillery me there. going to do unit conservation. I think what I'm going to do is force march you into here or just swap you into there because you've got an entrenchment of three. 
I'll let you get blowed up. I can't give you that hex, so I gotta move into there. I'm running short on units, guys. It's killing me. He can't move that guy into there. I don't think he can even move that guy into there. Well, at least I get an entrenchment of two, probably three. You need a unit, so I don't think I can buy anything with you. So maybe logistics, and I don't think I'll do that. So for the Brits. I'm going to get a Special Forces unit. It costs 185. So what we're thinking is <clears throat> what we're thinking is he's got so much in Italy the Royal Marines he's got so much in Italy that uh, we will be able to I mean, in uh, taking everything out of Italy and bring them down here. Oh, that was the other. That was the other one. And we're going to try to surprise them early on in in uh, Italy. I think just to land a guy, bring down some morale, leave them there, let the morale drop. Okay, so for research, I'd like that to happen as soon as possible. So maybe I'll put another chit in here. No, I won't because maximum research has already been figured out. So. Let's see, maritime bomber, would that help me? Not really. A core would help, though. I don't have anything in, in England. Don't have anything in England. And I need to bring something else down here. You can go work your way back over here to get uh, fixed up. Do I want to get a core just to put down here in case of an invasion? Or hold the money and wait for these guys to die and rebuy them? he's going to get smoked. I think that might be a better plan. All right. Research for the U.S. We've got that. We need armored warfare, infantry warfare. We've got two on logistics. We've got two on industry tech. We could use spying intelligence, but not right now. We also need to start working on ground attack. So I think that's where we're going to go first. Let's take the longest to do. These two are next. These three are next. These four are next. All right. One per turn. All right. So what do we got here? We were looking for that submarine. And we haven't found it. We haven't found it. 
French fleet has been basically useless. That one sub got away that was sitting up there. You head into port. Let's find a place to get you fixed. All right, so get a little bit of money left. I think it's time to do a little bit of upgrading probably. You take one. Do I need to re do I need to do you? I don't know. You're gonna wanna eventually be good to go. Let's get you for fixed. I wanna take you guys to naval one. You got a long way to go, but I might as well spend a little bit of money until the Brits get into the war. I mean, the uh, Japanese, rather. <coughs> Over here. Okay, you guys are fixed up. Now Batten's ready to go. You're fully good to go. India has 100 left. I could purchase an anti-air, which I probably need to do for India. Except I think I already bought them. Yep. So we're saving money. That guy's going to get pushed over here, research-wise. For India, we got Amphib, so that's good. And we're going to want to buy that guy when we have the money, 185. Okay. You're going to come out here. You're going to come around next turn. He's going to declare war. Then we're going to have combat. <laughs> I think we're done. You might as well take an upgrade. You are going to get operated down here next turn, I think. That's going to cost a lot of money, so. All right. Hit the go button. I don't know why the Russians only had 40 money. Oh, it might have been 50 for prepping for the winter. British forces mobilize, okay. That's great, but there's no units. Italian shipping prepares for war, but where? Axis joins, they declare war on the Allies. Complete that fort, that's good. He might actually, I've never lost China before, but he might actually do it. He's uh, moving in well. Full strike continues over there. Oh, I forgot to do New Zealand. Get infantry one. So the Indians are going to be, have to help probably in uh, Africa, <laughs> but we'll see. Oh, did I forget? I forgot to move the Australians. Crap. All right. You've been gaming with Colonel. Please like, subscribe, come back early and often. I am out.